What's up everyone, it's Yuval here and in this video I want to show you how to recreate the 1917 look in DaVinci Resolve. So you can see I have my footage here on the left side and an actual frame from the movie on the right side. So you can see we're pretty much there, we're in this world, it's still an orange, very cinematic, awesome looking. So let's look at how the footage looked before I did anything with the colors. So this is the before, you can see it right here on the left side. That's with all the nodes turned off. It's the log footage. And now I'm gonna turn all my nodes back on. And you can see we're pretty much there. If I turn on this view here, if I swipe left and right, can see we're kind of in the same kind of world. So let's start breaking it down. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this look. So now I deleted all of my nodes and we're going to start building the look from scratch. So we have this log footage here and I'm going to create my first node using Alt S and I'm gonna call it primaries. All right, so in this node is where I'm going to do all of my basic color correction and maybe start applying some of that look. So first off, I'm gonna go into the primary wheels and I'm just going to start bringing the shadows down. I'm gonna bring the gamma up, the midtones, and the contrast. Some of that saturation. and the overall brightness. And now my image is feeling a little bit red, so I'm going to go with the offset and kind of balance it out. So that's pretty much it for the first node. Let's see where we started. And now we have this, which is already a pretty long way, actually. In only like five minutes, I was able to get this kind of look, which is not there yet, but it already looks good, so that's cool. So let's create another node. And in this node, I just want to go into my primaries bars, and I'm going to look at the scopes here, and kind of try to match things around. So half of it is my left footage, which is footage that I'm grading, and the right side is the actual frame from 1917. So I'm going to try to kind of match that. Let's see where it gets us. Okay, so that got us a little bit closer. And we need to understand that the shots are lit differently. So we're gonna get, this is like the 1971 is shot on overcast and we can see the image is pretty evenly lit while um, with my footage, you can see it's pretty much more of a harsh sunlight coming in from kind of like left camera and we're getting more shadows and less even lighting. So it's going to be looking a little bit different but we're going to try to match the colors to the best of our ability. So now I just want to take this node a little bit down. Somewhere around there. And now I'm going to create two new layer nodes. And one is going to be for our skin and the other one is going to be for the sky. So using Control L, I'm going to create two of these layers. And like I said, this one is going to be for skin and this one is going to be for the sky. So let's actually start off with the skin. So I'm gonna turn this one off. And now we can look at the skin of the characters from 1917 and in my footage, and we can see that the skin on 1917 is much brighter and it's, it's mainly due to the lighting, but I still kinda wanna get in that realm. So we're going to kinda fake it a little bit. We're going to brighten up our skin tone and maybe desaturate it a little bit. 
So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to take my qualifier and I'm going to start selecting my skin. So something like that is fine. You can spend obviously more time on making your key perfect, but for the sake of this tutorial, that's fine for now. So now I'm going to try and kind of match the skin a little bit more. So using the curves, I'm going to just raise it up a little bit. Somewhere around there maybe. Let's see how that looks. If I turn on the full screen here. So it's looking pretty good, I think. Let's see how it looked before and after. And that's maybe a little bit too much. It's starting to look a little unrealistic. So I'm going to just bring it down a little bit. Maybe somewhere around here. And that's a before. And this is after. And still you can see it looks a little bit weird here on his hand. And again, that's because we're just kind of faking it to match the other shot and the light wasn't really working that way. So if you want to skip this step, that's totally fine. I'm um, just doing it for the sake of kind of copying the same look. But if you don't like it, then just don't do it or maybe do some other skin adjustment. But I'm going to keep this just for the sake of it looking as close as possible. Okay, so now we're going to go to the sky and this is where the magic is really going to start to happen because as you can see um, our colors are pretty close to the 1917 frame but our sky is totally blown out and is not looking very good at the moment and it also doesn't match our frame so let's change that we're going to key out the sky again using the qualifier i'm going to turn this node on and I'm just going to go to the qualifier here and I'm going to try and select our sky. So that's pretty good. Now let's start coloring the sky. So I'm going to go to the primary, sorry, to the log wheels and I'm just going to play around with the highlights and the offset until I get the color right. see a pretty big difference in luminance so I'm going to bring the highlights down somewhere around there and I'm going to keep moving the wheels until I get the color I want all right so now we're getting there look at this sky it looks really close to the 19 by 17 frame and this really made a huge difference let's see the before so Pretty close um, colors in most of the scene, but the sky just ruins it, like it doesn't look the same. And when we apply the node we did for the sky, now it's really starting to come together. We're getting a beautiful gray, a beautiful contrast between the teal and the orange. And this looks just beautiful. So now I want to go back to my skin and just maybe desaturate it a little bit. somewhere on there and let's go back and change the curves again so that looks pretty good I'm just going to apply a final node which is just going to be some really minor tweaks I'm going to play around with the contrast and the saturation so I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm pretty happy with the result I think we got pretty close now obviously you can spend more time on this, you can spend hours on this, tweaking the look and making it closer to perfection. But I think this is like 90% of the look and it works. It took us only a few minutes. So let's look at where we started. And this is the color grading that we did. So if you like this video, if it helped you out, press that thumbs up to help me with the algorithm. And also consider subscribing because I'm making more of these filmmaking and color grading related videos so you don't want to miss out. Also check out my Instagram, it's at yuvala96. I'm posting a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I'm also uploading stories so you guys can see what I'm up to. 
what I'm doing, what I'm working on. So make sure you follow me there. It's Atyubal A96. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see all of you in my next video.